let's assume you want to make a generic non-denominational uh, space star killer machine unrelated to any sort of IP uh, here's what you're gonna do just go ahead and add a uh, add a plane sure we'll go with that yeah all right scale whatever make it big enough but we only want this to really kind of cover half of the generic spaceship. Any resemblance to anything you've seen in maybe a movie is coincidental. Add a modifier, mirror, sure. X, Y, is that not showing up? Because it's on the wrong axis. Yep, yep, yep. All right. And go ahead and add another plane. And this one, we're going to make it match the shape. Yes, I realize my silence is riveting. And it's uh, it's Control R to add loop cuts, if you didn't know. And then down at the top here, down at the bottom top here, it'll give you a little hints as to kind of the commands you can use. So E is even if you hit that key so it'll make it even to one of the edges so see here it's kind of matching the angle of that edge and if you hit F it'll flip it to the other edge although I don't know why it angles as I get closer F yeah there we go control R loop cut control R R. Bring that in. Bring that in. Kind of going fast and loose here. Sloppy. as I proceed to fix everything. Everything has to line up, of course. Why wouldn't it? We're not savages. All right. So what you're trying to do is make all these nice little panel lines here. You could do that with a texture if you want to go the easy route, but we're not about the easy route, so I'll show you the less easy route, but not the but the, not the most difficult. Here we're gonna bring this up a little bit. So this is the guy we we've been shaping here. Notice it only matches from from the top, not from the side. We're going to fix that right now. So with that plane we added previously, grab it, 
rotate it. You always want to do most of your manipulations in edit mode. And we'll I'll show you right now how that's going to work. Uh, we're going to add a solidify. No, wrong one. A shrink wrap is what I meant to say onto the plane. Uh, we don't want near surface point. We want project Z negative, not positive. See, it's kind of it's it's matching. Isn't that nice? Now we can rotate this. Gosh, grab the wrong thing. Plane so it mat so it matches perfectly. So I hit R Y rotate. Rx, sorry, to rotate in the x direction. Hey, look at that. Now it's lining up quite nicely with our reference and image. But when we go into edit mode, it's still flat, which makes it easy to work with. Now you can go ahead and use K to make your cuts. For your panel lines. Ugh. I'm gonna go kind of fast and loose here. This is a tutorial, not a finished product. Keep telling yourself that. And if you hit C, it'll snap it. Here, there's the tips at the bottom. C, angle, constant, off. C, angle, constant, on. F, cut through. That's what I was talking about earlier. I don't know why it shows down here for this tool and up in the corner for the other one. Just don't worry about it. That is the solution to most, most things. Make another cut here. C, remove the C, and we're not trying to go too crazy here, so I'm just going to kind of worry about this panel here, and we're not going to do it perfectly either. I'm just uh, tracing, tracing along here. And you may say, but this doesn't have any depth. There's no depth to it. And there's no space between the panels. What are you showing me here? I'll get to that. It's all about the modifiers. The modifiers, I tell you. I seriously hope people next door can't hear me talking to myself. All right, that's good enough. Let's say you uh, did all that and see how, how easy that was um, to work with. Actually, it doesn't really matter in this situation, uh, it being flat, but oftentimes it will make it much easier if the object you're working with is level with the plane. All right, now say you've done all the little bits and bobs, cut them all up. Now all you have to do is A, select everything, edge, edge, split, See, I made all of these 
individual parts. Now A select everything again. Here I'm going to go to point individual origins I to inset and you just want to inset it however much. However much you want to inset it. You know. It's up to you. Control I X uh, faces that gets rid of those faces. So in this scenario, I would have modeled the base first and then made this from a duplicated object. And the reason I want to do that is because leaving all the uh, edge pieces in here just adds unnecessarily to your face count, whereas you would have just one kind of big face here and then all your little faces you get what I'm, you get it you get what I'm saying all right so now we're gonna give some thickness to this with the modifier do as much as you can with modifiers solidify thickness it's going the wrong way so you can just make this negative don't worry about it all right hey look at that now you have some nice panel nice paneling lines with some thickness shown to them. Uh, obviously we would want a mirror here put that at the top Y again and then we can just hide that pretend it's not there look at that super quick super easy um, now just uh, do that the same thing for the rest of it. Hours and hours of work. It'll be great.